Hey guys, I'm Lorianne. I'm here with Brody, who is my baby, and you may recognize him from Vlogmas. He was like the star of Vlogmas. Today we're going to be doing a what's in my school backpack kind of video as the kickoff to a series that I kind of wanted to start, and that's the Life of a Commuter Student series. Um, I know that I'm not the only commuter student in the world. I know that financially sometimes it's a lot cheaper to commute than to live on campus, especially if you live really close to school. In my case, I don't really live that close to school. I live in New Jersey and I commute to Manhattan for school. So my commute can be a little costly, but it is uh, cheaper than living in the city. <laughs> so this is my backpack. And I believe I bought this off of eBay, I want to say. I think I got it off eBay. Um, I want, like, part of me wants to say Amazon, but I'm pretty sure I got it off eBay. I don't remember the shop name. I got this back in the fall, like, so I've had it for months. But it's not real leather. It's just um, black pleather, and then it's got these silver cone kind of studs on it, and three pockets in the front, and then the studs also are on the straps in the back. So starting off with what are in the front pockets. I have three front pockets, like I said. So my first pocket... I have some Blue Diamond uh, Oven Roasted Almonds. These are the cinnamon brown sugar ones. I love these. They don't like, I don't get like full off of these because obviously it's like a tiny pack. There's maybe like 10 nuts in here. Um, but <laughs> they keep me from getting like super hungry and like becoming ravenous and like running to like the snack machines or like, you know, in New York there's food on like every corner and it's easy to get really fat. So I carry these with me and other little snacks that I eat throughout the day so I don't like buy any food or buy anything really bad. In my middle pocket I have lotion. I get really dry hands especially in the summer. Uh, it's an Advil bottle but that doesn't sound like Advil. Oh it's an Advil bottle or an ibuprofen bottle but I keep Tums in it because <laughs> the Tums container is so large I don't want to carry it with me and I have like really bad like um, heartburn and like acid reflux problems so those are helpful because I never know when that's gonna happen then I have actual Advil uh, what's back here I have some bobby pins ew there's like a string stuck to it oh some Carmex and ice breakers and cool mint and my last front pocket just is really simple I keep my wallet in that pocket and uh, my wallet usually contains my metro card, but I think it's in the pocket of my jacket. I just keep, like, you know, my ID, my debit credit cards. Um, I keep train tickets in, like, this little front pocket. And then I always have some cash on me when I'm commuting because, you know, one day I had, like, this nightmare where I was, like, running late for class and I needed to fill up my metro card and I only had my debit card on me. And it was, it was, none of them were taking credit or debit. They were only taking cash. So, like, I freaked out, and I was like, I'm already running late, and I, like, had to find an ATM in the train station where I could get cash out and then put money on my Metro card. Moving inside the bag, I have these two, like, snap kind of clasp things, and you flip it over, and then it's got, like, a pull, like, drawstring. Um, so your stuff is really secure in there. Uh, I just keep my school ID like clipped onto one of the strings on the inside so that it's easy for me to pull out because I have to scan it to walk through doorways at school. This is a little Marc Jacobs pouch. It was um, from the Neiman Marcus for Target collection and I keep my makeup in here. I don't really bring a ton of makeup with me. It's also like other things. It's like, ooh, let me see, like contact case and then I carry like a little bottle of contact solution just in case my contacts start to bother me like anybody who wears contacts knows that like at any given time like a particle of dust can get in your eye and like wreak havoc on your whole day so you need those like, mini brushes to apply powder whatever lipstick I wore that day eye drops just in case my eyes get irritated I always carry um, L'Oreal Liquid Liner Intense, uh, the carbon black one, just in case I need to touch up my wing if I'm wearing a wing or if I need to add one, like, go from, like, a day to night look, you never really know. So, I just keep basic stuff like that in there, any emergency kind of stuff. An umbrella, I usually check the forecast before I pack the umbrella because I don't want to weigh my book bag down if I don't need to, but it said it was going to rain today and then it didn't, so I had it with me just in case. My planner, which has got little owls on it. There's not much going on because the semester just started, but this is always helpful for keeping me organized. 
a bottle of water. I used to carry like a bottle with like a Brita bottle with a filter in it so that I was being like eco-friendly and me washing it every single day and like tending to it properly just didn't really work out too well so I switched back to my plastic bottles and it's wasteful I know I know I have to stop on a blue pen I hate blue pens the first day of school I got all the way to New York and I got off the train and realized that I did not have a pen with me and I was like how did I come all the way to New York for school without a pen so I had to stop in a Kmart and the only pens they had um, and the kind that I like were blue so I just bought a pack for like a dollar and then I hate blue pens. My phone charger. I have a tiny notebook just in case I need to take any like real notes. Um, I don't always take notes in a notebook. Sometimes I use a computer but there are certain classes like math classes and stuff like that where you're writing formulas where it's not really too easy to do on a computer so it's much easier to write those and some professors don't really like when you use your computer in class but um, I, I don't usually find that problem so much. It's just that sometimes, especially if the teacher's a fast talker, it's easier for me to write it than to type it. Random piece of paper. Up oh, my schedule. A folder. Ah, with, you know, cool stuff in it. I'm taking CAD for fashion merchandising this semester, so it's like using Adobe Illustrator and like Photoshop to like design garments and stuff like that. It's kind of cool, I guess. My laptop, this is a case that I got off of Amazon. It's a little bit bigger than my laptop because I thought I had a 13 inch MacBook Air, but it's smaller than that um, because this said it was 13 inches and this is like really big. But, well not really big, but bigger than my laptop. So yeah, and I keep my laptop charger in like this little, this came with like a holiday Mac thing that I got and I keep my charger in here because I don't want to scratch up my MacBook. But this is just my, it's a little dirty. Oh. It's, this is just a MacBook Air that I got for Christmas. Um, and like I said, I like to take a lot of my notes on there. And I like to kind of make my to-do lists in there. And it keeps everything better organized. And this is so light. This is why my, my dad and my mom got me this for Christmas. Because my other laptop was so big and heavy. And I couldn't bring it to school. And this is really easy for me to have with me and I can edit my videos on the train and stuff like that and it's just really con convenient to have such a light laptop. Um, an ASOS little thing, little catalog thing, it came with like the December nylon and um, I read the December nylon and realized the other day that I didn't read this so I like threw it in my bag so if I had any downtime I could read it. Then I stopped at Hudson News today waiting for my train because I miss the one that comes right after my class ends. I didn't have enough time to get there so I have to wait for the next one. It's like an hour later. So I stopped and picked up some stuff to treat myself for making it through the first week of school. So I just have the February nylon with Selena Gomez on the cover. And then Glamour. I don't read a whole lot of fashion magazines anymore. I used to like buy them all and read them all but I noticed that I haven't really been like Cosmopolitan used to be my Bible. I kind of hate Cosmopolitan now, and when I buy fashion magazines, I tend to buy Nylon, Glamour, Marie Claire, or like Vanity Fair. Lastly, I just have like this little pocket on the inside. It has one pocket on the inside in case you're wondering about inside compartments and stuff like that. And I just keep like a little mini tissue in there and like some Aleve if I need something stronger than Advil and just like black pens because you know I need my black pens. So those are the things that I carry with me when I commute to and from school. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you were a commuter student or even if you're not. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video, which will be out on Wednesday. Subscribe for more videos in the future. You can comment below if you have any questions or just any comments about any of the things that I showed you in this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Close Embrace and also on Twitter at Close Embrace. Bye, guys.